welcome back. In this session, I'm gonna show you how to do something funky and cool and something you're probably gonna encounter if you do some sort of process based interfaces or allowing users to upload something or having the users to wait a little bit. So you need to inform them well. And Axure does that really cool and neat. So it's adding some sort of progress bar, let's say, or indicators. So in this video, we're gonna try to one, animate the bar in, and two, animate the percentage and make it grow. Now, first one is quite easy to do. If you refer to my other animation videos, uh, we did animate some bar charts in, so refer to that, go back a little bit, check for that title. The second part, the percentage, is a little bit more, more harder to do because we have to use variables. But since you already have two videos previously talked about how to use variables to pass information from page to page, now we're gonna step it up a little bit and I'm gonna show you how to use variable to incrementally increase the text value over a certain period of time. Now it's not gonna be you know, mathematically precise, but it's gonna allow us to count, let's say up until 100, and then maybe once it's 100, pass it to another page or something like that. So let's see how that goes. And from get go, I already set up this prototype. As you can see, it has all the titles and everything else is designed in Axure. So that's quite easy. Uh, you can set it up yourself however you want to. But what I would want to do is start from probably a hundred. So this is our kind of like a final stage. It should be like that. So it's good to start with animation from the end state. So because then it shows you, you know, where it should head, like it shows you any restrictions or limitations. So that full bar, if you remember, I would just convert to dynamic panel first and foremost and just give it a name, let's say bar. If I go inside it, I can select different states. This is a full state. You remember we need to create an empty state too and place it before it. And just to know down what's the full state height and width, it's four, three, 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 four. So I would want to do that for the actual outline too. And this is good because sometimes you're gonna encounter problems animating it in. So I'm just gonna try to do like this. And as you can see, it's empty bar. Now on a page load, if you remember, I would add interaction saying on page load, just set panel state bar to full and slide it right. And I think a good choice is to do it quite slow because imagine that we're still simulating a progress. So maybe like uh, three seconds. Okay, and we can do ease out cubic, meaning it's gonna slow down a little bit. So it's natural and we don't need no animate out. Now if we preview, we already have an animation for a bar. As you can see, it filled in already. It starts a bit too soon. So I'm gonna add some delay. Like so, maybe a second and one third of a second or so, let's say, ish. And I'm probably gonna slow it down even more. So maybe let's do it like uh, 12 seconds or so. And now it should feel a bit more natural. Boom, as you can see, it's animating the bar and it's slowing down a little bit naturally. Boom, that's where let's say it would animate in and we would take users to a different page. I'm gonna create a different page just, just for the sake of it. I'm gonna just duplicate it. Uh, just so you see how that's done before we dive into variables. And I'm gonna just do this on page load. I'm gonna add waiting time for those 12 seconds. And then I'm gonna open a new link to that. So that's how I'm gonna simulate the simple interaction. Let me just test it fills in, the calculation is done in the background, like so, and let's see if it actually is quite accurate. Boom, well done. It works, it's pretty good. What is missing is incremental change in the percentage. What I'm gonna say and how we're gonna start is, I'm gonna rename this thing, it's a copy from another field, so I'm gonna say, uh, percentage or maybe even let's let's call it progress right progress text so we know it's input field 
uh, by default we can set it to 0% like so and what I want to do next is create a variable global variables under project tab and as you can see we already have a couple of variables but let's add another one and let's call it progress and a value of let's say zero now if I remember correctly we might want to separate the percentage like so because it might be a bit too complicated for you so let me just make a copy say this is a percentage field which is gonna be static so I don't need to give it any names let's do like this and then this is let's see if we align it maybe like so next to percentage so it looks a bit better so it fits three digits let's say like so um, again it's up to you to how do you want to align it but from my experience sometimes the text is not rendered right so you need to find a good good way to do so so test it out and see how it works let's say for this case let's keep it that way and we just want to update this zero field as you can see progress text so first thing what we want to do is to create a loop so that it keeps updating the numbers in this specific field now what i'm going to do is just add new interaction to a progress text to that zero and i'm going to say just update the variable initially because we can update the text field later but we definitely need to update the value now what we can do is onload is one of the kind of like a best probably ways to do so because we can reload the text fragment again and again so let me show you exactly how we do that so on load i would say set value of a variable uh, progress because that's our variable and i would say go to function now function is a panel where you can add advanced maths and and kind of advanced logic and I'm going to cover it a little bit more as we go forward. But to keep it simple, what I would want to do is to keep that syntax, as you can see, explained here. So you would want to do something like insert your variable of progress, let's say. And let's say plus five, maybe. And that means basically that our zero is going to add plus five every, let's say, I don't know, half a second or so until we say to stop. So I would just say okay and as you can see what we're doing here is again we're just assigning that incremental increase to a variable and what I want to do next is just add another action and just set text to our field because we're not going to see it otherwise it's just going to happen behind the scenes so I would select progress text our text field name and I would set it to value of variable progress and now presumably I would just do it once I can just show and it's going to be 5% or so like so as you can see it's 5 and everything else is just goes on its own way that's not really what we're looking for so what I'm going to do is make a loop meaning we need to replicate this it's good that it added just 5 to it but we need to keep on adding it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a loop by just saying hey wait for I don't know 800 milliseconds and then fire the same event let's say so we there is fire event is one of the last things on a list in interactions and you can just fire the same event for the object so let's say progress text and just add event off on load again so we are going to reload the value and as you can see we created a loop meaning we're going to run these conditions wait 800 milliseconds and then refire it again and again and again and again and again and it's going to be infinite so let me show you exactly how it works in practice as you can see it adds five at the time and once it's done it's probably not going to match 50 55 so we need to be quicker of percentage boom and to be honest it would just keep on adding and adding and adding until it's thousands and you know and and, and it's unlimited we can of course give it a condition and say run this until you reach a certain percentage but in this case since we're limiting the on uh, on a page load and we're saying after 12 uh, thousand milliseconds just open a new page um, we can just track it and make it faster just by looking at it so i would just maybe do those five we could say I don't know maybe we could run it a bit smoother so i would say increment by one 
but run it way, way quicker. So maybe 100 milliseconds. So let's see if that changes anything. And if we actually can match those 12,000, you can see it adds, 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 adds. Now it doesn't really respond to what you see on a bar, so you need to play with it, but yeah, it's, it's way too fast. So we need to play around a bit more. I'm probably gonna make it linear of a bar animation uh, because is is out cubic is not really reliable because it slows down incrementally. So let's see maybe if linear looks a bit better. That looks sort of right. Ish, 50%. Let's see where it ends. Boom, 87%. So we definitely need to make the incremental increase a bit quicker and just leave it at that. Um, again, you can calculate as well and divide that 12,000 milliseconds and see, you know, how we can match it better. But I don't think it really matters and I don't think your end users are going to notice as long as you can put a ceiling on it. So what we can do to add a bit of a logic to it, just can click enable case and just add saying text on the widget, progress text, let's say, or let's say it's is not one off and let's say 99. We are running these again and again. So we can test it out and see if that works. Now, as you can see, it more or less works pretty well. And it incrementally increases and is close enough. Boom. So as you can see, it stopped at 99. I'm just gonna say 100. And then you can play with your kind of like do your magic basically you know you can you can spend a little bit more time trying to see exactly how it is because it's always gonna run the same way so you can play around and see if it works well for you or not but as you can see we created a simple progress bar animation and it also counts to 100 and then opens a new page so this is how you utilize variables at its best basically you know there is a lot you can do more about it but i think it's quite good to learn this type of uh, interaction and, and how to do so if you like this video leave a like subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions i really appreciate your feedback and see you next time